Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel really silly starting a video while I look like this because I have a uh, twisty turby on. I think that's what it's called, the actual brand of this specific hair towel, but I just look pretty ridiculous right now. I feel ridiculous, but hopefully this video will be really fun and casual. Today it's going to be more of a vlog style and <laughs> I wanted to get a video up for you guys today, but I think I am going to actually switch my upload schedule because I recently found out that you can check under your YouTube analytics when your subscribers are the most active on YouTube. So I readjusted my schedule. So hopefully I will be able to reach more of you guys and be um, accessible, I guess, uh, around the time that you guys are on. So that'll be really nice. Today, let's get into the video. I am going to try on a bunch of skincare products that I actually received from YesStyle. They sent me a couple of stuff because I shop there all the time and I just submitted a form that was like, oh yeah, I would love to receive some products and see if I like them and everything. I'm not obligated to make a video or anything like that. They just kind of send you really random products and I thought it would be fun to try them out on camera with you guys. That's why I'm out of my shower, fresh faced and everything. I literally only put on my eye cream because I don't have an eye cream to try on and I have some toner. I use the rice toner that I really, really love from YesStyle. I think it's from the brand I'm From. I'm pretty sure, but I will list all the information about the products below. Sorry, I'm a little out of breath. I feel like I've had a really productive day so far and I postponed my shower until now and it's like it's almost 2 p.m. so I will go ahead and get started and also if you guys are new to this channel I do like fashion beauty and lifestyle videos here and I would love for you guys to subscribe I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers and that is like my big goal as of right now so I would really really love it if you join our little family here on YouTube but I'm gonna try on this essence phytonicin whitening essence by Nasific and I'm really excited to try this because I have been I have been dealing with some acne as you guys have been already aware of I feel like if you have been following me on my channel but I'm now trying to get rid of some dark spots and scarring issues more than anything I do still have some active breakouts like on my forehead a little bit but I have come such a long way you guys I'm so excited to film the uplit up updated <laughs> acne products video uh, that I'm planning on uploading sometime like in the next two weeks so but I'm really excited to try any whitening brightening scar fading products so this will be interesting to try and hopefully it yields good results it has a dropper applicator which I'm not the biggest fan of because it's kind of annoying because like if you're not careful all the products just kind of like leak everywhere but I'm just gonna use like like half a dropper amount and it's very liquidy yeah it's like a very soft liquidy effect um just gonna smooth it on my skin <laughs> it looks like I'm so rough on my skin but I promise I'm not but this feels really nice um it's really lightweight but I feel an instant boost of hydration because obviously I only had the rice toner on and my skin was like, okay, I need something else on my skin right now. You need to uh, give me some water to drink up. So this feels super nice. I mean, it's not that sticky at all. It feels like it absorbed into my skin really fast. So that was really nice. I'm actually gonna use some on my neck as well. If you guys don't know, I've been recently trying <laughs> to take care of my neck because I, realize that you know i don't really take my products down my neck and that's where you see a lot of aging signs as you get older and you know your girl is closer to 30 than she is to 20 now so <laughs> i'm just gonna make sure that i take care of my neck as well so far really like how this feels on the skin it's like absorbed really fast and it feels very nourishing and kind of makes my skin feel a little bit more bouncy and hydrated so i actually really really do enjoy that i think i'm gonna keep on using it i wanted to try this out because i already tried the other moisturizer that they sent me this is okay so the one that i actually have been trying at night is the Legome Celis Deep Moisture Cream and I've been using this 
for about a week now only at night because it is quite a thick cream consist consistency and I so far actually really enjoy it I think it is a little bit more on the heavier side so you're not gonna like it if you have severely oily skin but I have combo to oily skin right now and I've been using this at night and my skin feels super super hydrated and really moisturized and protected so I have, I've been really enjoying this I just don't know how to I guess have a complete opinion about it because I haven't you know use it for that long but I'm gonna use this one today and this is the Claw Vu Blue Pearl Sense what Blue Pearl Sation Marine Aqua enriched cream and I have a feeling that this is going to be slightly thinner in consistency hopefully so I can you know put on sunscreen after that because I use sunscreen every single day and regardless of if I'm home or not <laughs> so it does come with these scoopers how many of you guys really use these scooper scoopers because I really don't I mean I always have clean hands because it's my, I do my skincare right after the shower or when I'm washing my face like my hands are clean and all that stuff so I don't really mind dipping into the pot but I know some of you guys are grossed out by that so sorry it has a very like clean laundry scent so I believe this is fragranced or maybe it's natural fragrance but I'm not sure I haven't really looked really deep into the ingredients list or anything but this is a claw Vu blue pearl station it does say like marine aqua so I'm hoping that it is more on the lighter weight side but I'm just gonna use some that's on this little uh, I guess cap so i'm just gonna use that much it's really it feels really nice it's like very um oh, what is it called like almost milky like, oh it feels really nice i honestly love korean skincare you guys it's just so nourishing and i just feel like korea got their skincare really nice like they just do it right <laughs> feels really hydrating it is definitely less uh i guess thick and like condensed if that makes sense as the legome one that i showed you that i use at night so this is actually a better formula if you have severely oily skin this would be a really great hydrating formula for you at nighttime still because it is still very rich and like a little bit more on the thick side it's definitely not like a gel or anything like that so it is thick but i am fine with this type of texture and feel on my skin for the daytime i'm gonna put on some sunscreen and then i will be right back okay guys so i fiddled a little bit with the lighting because i felt like the outside lighting is changing constantly so I'm sorry if it was fluctuating a lot and so I just put some artificial lighting. Hopefully this is better. I'm just gonna put on some lip gloss just to give my face some color. <laughs> I feel really washed out right now with the lighting and all. I'm just gonna start doing my makeup and I will list all the products that I'm using in the down bar in the description so you guys can check it out if you're interested. I thought that I would try this sponge out today and this I got from my FabFitFun box and I was very intrigued. I feel like these silicone sponges are kind of gimmicky but this is by Makeup Drop and it's the silico, the hybrid silicone pad and blending sponge. So I'm gonna try this out. It has a silicone flat surface here on one side and it's just stuck on a sponge so you're supposed to get like the best of both worlds and be able to dog hair be able to kind of stamp your product all on your face with the silicone and blend it with the other side so we'll try this out i just wanted to talk to you guys and see how you guys were doing and i know that i have a lot of new subscribers here so welcome to the family i'm so excited to have you here i mean honestly it's been such a great journey so far on YouTube. I, th I think I started, restarted my channel actually sometime in April. So it's been what? April, May, June, July. So about a little over three months, I think. This is the Buildable Blur CC Cream by Thri Th Thrive. <laughs> I need to calm down. Thrive Cosmetics. And I love this stuff, guys. This stays on my skin. Sorry, diverting from our conversation. This with 
stands the weather that we have right now it is so humid and sweaty outside so this has been the only thing that's been staying on my face the anastasia foundation that i usually always wear um these days for a little bit more coverage but has like a dewier luminous i guess look it's too glowy i mean it doesn't stay on my skin at all during the summertime it's really great in the winter but right now i mean the weather is just too crazy and wild <laughs> <laughs> to use that one so i've been loving this and this also has spf which is great it has spf of 35 any spf booster is great in my books i'm so all over the place i'm so sorry i am so so happy how i mean the whole journey is going i'm so excited to have more of you guys here and just be able to talk to you guys i'm so sorry uh my phone is just i should put it on silent that's rude of me. I started, restarted this channel and I am so happy in the direction that it's going. I'm still figuring out exactly what, oh my God, what the hell? <sighs> so weird. Sorry, I don't think I can concentrate on having a conversation when this freaking thing is so weird. It's like, it's like I'm like hitting my face with a brick. Okay, immediately I'm not a huge fan of this. I think I'm gonna switch over, but oh god, they're so bad. I look crazy right now. Okay, yeah, not a fan, not a fan. Okay, I'm just gonna switch over to a brush because I'm trying to face this, uh, save this from looking crazy. Whew, I'm sweating already, you guys. I It is, I'm telling you. So crazy hot. These days, it's always like in the 90s and my face is <laughs> permanently glowy because of my sweat and sebum production it's crazy i used to have really dry skin and now it is just crazy how my skin changed i mean i'm not gonna complain because i would rather have oily skin than dry skin because i think your natural oils kind of help you age a little bit more gracefully in terms of wrinkles and stuff like that but you deal so much more with acne i feel like and i am not about it i mean i've been trying so hard to get rid of my acne but i mean it's a journey like a full-on journey i'm just gonna put on some concealer in the areas that i need more coverage oh my god this concealer is just the best um this is the nars ra uh not radiant creamy this is a matte soft matte concealer this will cover any redness that i have laying around always need a little extra coverage in my t-zone and then where I get my most active breakouts, which is right here. I always get breakouts on the right side of my forehead. Like, I don't understand. Like, my left side is fine. It's just chilling. You know, it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. And then the right side is just always breaking out. Just don't understand. But, you know, I learned to accept it. <laughs> I'm going to put some under eye concealer. But... The best I can do, you guys. The best I can do. Ooh, it is hot. Going back to my, I guess, content. I feel like these days it's just harder to create content because we're not really doing anything crazy. Majority of the time we're just staying home. And I mean, if anything, we're doing stuff with family or with people one-on-one -on -one or very small groups and so i just feel like there's not that much to show you i thought i would just talk and have some good conversation because that's what i like to watch youtube videos for like i love seeing how other people are living their lives and especially if they're from like a different location than i am i always think it's very interesting to you know like watch how people live their lives in other areas of the country or in a different country that's even cooler <laughs> i love watching vlogs and just more conversational casual videos but i know that i started my channel off with more you know like 
outfit related heavy on the fashion content so i know that majority of you guys like watching those more niche specific videos and more i guess searchable things especially because i am a very very tiny micro youtuber that i need to create content that people will search for and that's how you get kind of like i guess noticed for lack of better terms but I mean, honestly, I'm just doing this for fun and I just love engaging with you guys. That's like my favorite part is like reading the comments and replying and having conversations and getting feedback and all that stuff. So that's the reason why I do it. And I love trying new products and like doing haul videos and showing you guys what I wear and all that stuff. It's like having your own like I don't know, private Facebook group almost, like where you just like talk about the randomest stuff and <laughs> you can get like opinions. I have been struggling a little bit with where I want my channel to go or like what vision I have specifically for my channel because I just like so many different things you guys like I just have so many different interests and hobbies and I just don't want to do one specific thing I just I don't know I get bored really easily and I feel like I just always want to switch up my content and I hope you guys do like that and I don't know some people might not want to subscribe because my content is just everywhere like I don't really have a specific niche I guess <sighs> I don't know but that's what i've been struggling with and i'm like okay so should i just stick with one content like one niche or should i do what i want and just roll with it but then i don't know i want to make videos that you guys want to see it's just been difficult to try to like balance that and figure that out especially because there's just less resources to make fun content <laughs> like I was going a little ham on the blush there, but I love blush. This blush is so so nice for every day It's just like a very natural pinky peach I'm honestly not gonna even do my eyes today because I'm not going anywhere <laughs> Sadly, I'm just gonna put more lip gloss Super simple makeup. I just like the really refined face skin <laughs> look. <laughs> like just like a really good even skin tone, really glowy blush and some, you know, brow product and a lip gloss. Like, I mean, we're just going to keep it very simple today. Just honestly wanted to talk to you guys and have a chill conversation and I mean, hopefully you have like your coffee or breakfast or something or lunch because it's I don't know, it's two o'clock. I feel like the days just don't have any rules anymore because I do so many random things at such random hours. I mean, I was just doing chores all up until like 1 p.m. and then I was like, oh shoot, I should probably wash up and get ready for the actual day. I don't know, I always get ready because it makes me feel a lot more productive and gets my brain going. So let me know in the comments if you feel the same way because I don't know, it helps me get my momentum when I do my routines and feel normal. <laughs> Trying to hydrate, you know? This is my favorite Starbucks <laughs> water tumbler thing. I love drinking out of straws. Like it's just my favorite way to drink water because it makes things so much nicer. And I try to drink like three of these a day. I don't even think that's enough to be honest, but it's a good start because I'm terrible at drinking my water. I run on like two cups of coffee every morning and then just forget to drink water. I mean, I feel like when you drink coffee, it curbs like your appetite, your thirst, like everything. You're just like on caffeine, on a go, 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 uh, I guess momentum. So yeah, I've been trying to get better at that. And I have been, oh my gosh, guys. I'm not gonna say any spoilers, so don't worry, but have you guys watched the show on Netflix called Selling Sunset. It is amazing. I mean, I <laughs> was like so not interested when my friend was telling me about it at first. She was like, 
uh, it was funny because, okay, backstory. She got her real estate license. She told me that she got inspired to become a real estate agent because she was watching this show on Netflix and it like got her motivated to get her license and all that stuff, which is so good for her because I think that this is a really good move and she would be really fantastic at her job as a real estate agent. And that industry is just like, you know, it's very like money driven and very successful if you do it right. And I mean, it's very admirable that she did that. And I was like, oh, I'm kind of like curious not to become a real estate agent, but just in the show because she was like, oh my God, there's so much drama and it's so entertaining, but it's like, you know, it's like shit TV. <laughs> you don't gain anything from it except pure entertainment. And I was like, okay, I kind of want to know what this is about. So Charlie and I started watching it yesterday and we finished two whole seasons yesterday, all day. We watched it back to back, did nothing yesterday. So I'm determined to have a more productive day today. If you haven't seen that show, it is wild. I mean, girls there are so savage and <laughs> catty, but also like you feel for each character in a weird way. And there's just so many emotions involved. And I don't know, like the business aspect of it is really interesting too. I mean, if you don't know anything about the real estate business or industry here, I highly suggest that you watch this show because it opens your eyes like how easy it is to get money and how easy it is to lose that money. And it's just so, so interesting. I mean, the lives that these people are living is insane and just so crazy luxurious. And I'm not like the type of person who's like super money driven. And I feel like I should be because I mean, everyone loves success and like, you know, curate the life that you want, you know? I, I mean, I'm so all about successful boss ladies. I mean, create the life that you want to live, you know? That's totally, totally admirable and just very, you know, inspiring in a way. It's interesting how their mindsets are and it's like work comes first, all the, like, I mean, it. they don't care about anything else but their clients and it's just so interesting. It's such a different mindset and I think it's very, very trash too. It's so trash, but it's like a guilty pleasure kind of thing. And if you are sincerely interested in the real estate business, I highly suggest that you watch it and get a feel for, I don't know, the extremity of that life, I guess. It's it's wild like i highly suggest it but then again like you'll you'll probably get addicted if you're like if you're into like that reality tv okay guys my camera is literally about to die and my camera actually died because the temperature on this freaking camera is too high i have this problem with the sony if you guys have that let me know because i have another friend who has a sony the same exact model the a 5000 and her camera dies after 30 minutes of recording because the temperature is too high I don't know. I just ran into that problem. So I think I'm just gonna cut it here I know I've been rambling so much and I hope you guys enjoy just like Chit-chatting with me and watching me get ready and all that stuff So it, it's it was honestly more for myself because I really wanted to talk to you guys But hopefully this was entertaining and let me know if you guys end up watching uh, selling sunset because I would love to know your guys's thoughts on it like I am You know done with that season and the next season's coming up in August. So I'm super excited to watch it But yeah, anyway, let me know what you guys have been loving watching on Netflix and thanks for hanging out with me We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers. So if you haven't if you haven't subscribed already, I would love for you guys to join and please leave a comment down below. Helps my engagement with my videos and my channel and leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this type of, I guess, get up. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. I wanted to show you guys what Romper was doing the whole time. <laughs> I didn't even know he was in the room with us. But he was just enjoying the sun on the carpet of our bedroom. <laughs> Alright.